All right, so it's been 11 days since Super Bowl 51, and there's still some who are questioning Kyle Shanahan's play calling. That may go on for a while. They took the 28-3 lead. The Falcons then called 12 pass plays to just four run plays. Former Falcons wide receiver Roddy White had some strong comments on that. I'm glad I wasn't a part of that team because I probably literally would have fought him. You destroyed a dream of us for a city. Like, this it, it's, like, way bigger than me. Like, the city of Atlanta needed that championship, and they had it. Like, it was right there. Like, Arthur Blake needed that championship. Like, he deserved to win that game, you know, through everything that he's been through. It was finally our time to win, and it just hurt me that we didn't get it done. That's a wide receiver mm. complaining about calling too many pass plays. You yeah. know it's bad in, in that case. We got our NFL analyst, Darren Woodson, here. Coaches are human. They make bad calls at times. Sidelines are filled with alpha males. What did you make of, of Roddy White saying, I would have fought that guy? He used the word we. Roddy's still a part of this. He wants to be a part yeah. of, of this, and, and rightfully so. He put it a lot. He sweat blood and tears for a lot of years and was a, their number one go-to guy before, before Julio Jones got there. So he still has a lot of pride in that organization. And he's right. A lot of fans are still upset. Hey, my best buddy is a, a Falcons fan. He still can't get over it, but... You don't have a voice. Once you're out of that locker room, you don't have a voice anymore. And you have to find a way to move on. But, you know, this was as bad as play calling at the end of this game as there ever was. And the fans in Atlanta do deserve a championship. But on that sideline, those guys that are on the sideline playing that game, if you think we're the biggest critics, those guys that are on sidelines, the Julio Joneses, the Devontae Freemans, they're the biggest critics that could ever be. Just look at, look at the Seattle Seahawks right now. Yes. They're still dealing with that. But Richard Sherman blaming the offensive coordinator, which happened two years ago in the Super Bowl. Yes. Uh, do you remember a time with the Cowboys where you guys were particularly upset about yeah. a, a, a play call or two? Uh, we had one in Philadelphia. We had a third and one uh, and then a fourth and one mm -hmm. uh, in Barry Switzer's first year with the Dallas Cowboys and didn't go right and it got the ball on two separate occasions. Uh, the defense wanted, uh, you know, when, you're, when you talk about it on the sidelines, everybody wanted to go for it at that moment. Uh -huh. But Barry Switzer took the blame in that situation, but it was a third and one, fourth and one. Some of us were, you know, a little upset about the play calling at that time, but we had to live with it. Yeah, I mean, you had Emmett Smith, you had yes. the offensive line. Uh, what, what would it have been like if one of you guys had gotten up into Barry Switzer's grill or did that happen? No, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Well, you know, we, we had moments off the field. I mean, outside of the cameras where guys were upset about play calling. But at the same time, you just you, you have to respect the moment. And as a team, you're a family. You're not going to agree with everything that's that all the play calling that goes on. But at the same time, you've got to take take the good and the bad at the same time because you're a team, you're a family. I, I still remember that series in 1995. Oh. It wasn't good. It was not we good still hear all. about it in Dallas. We still hear about the fourth and one decision there. The that wasn't was, a Super Bowl. And you won the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs>